Deputy Noel Coonan. Well, Mark, with the last guy here, look, um, I'm glad to have just a few moments to speak on the motionary Irish water. And I actually believe that yesterday was a great day for the country, and not only for Irish water, but particularly for the people, and indeed for democracy in the country. I welcome the clarification that has been brought to the issue that, uh, by the government and by my colleague, Minister for the Environment, Alan Kelly, fellow Tipperary man in particular. I uh, congratulate him and say that he has nothing to worry about now. He has every boat in Tipperary secured, Alaska here, like I'm sure you and your colleagues across the way will be delighted to, to know that. And I suppose that puts in terms put the pressure upon us. But well, well done to him and, and, and to his colleagues in government. Because it, he, they have brought a, a, a sense of affordability uh, to the Irish water proposals. They've brought clarity to it, <coughs> made it simple. It is now understandable, and people know that uh, under the cap system, that the maximum they'll have to spend is one euro a week uh, for a single family and three euros a week for um, two or more in, in, in the family. And that is a relief because, I mean, it's, it's a, absolutely appalling the way uh, the opposition have terrorised older people, put the fear of God in them, and upset them seriously over the last number of months. It is also a good day, I think, for democracy from the point of view that this government has been seen to listen to the people of the country. And it's a good day for us as backbenchers, despite what my good colleague Deputy Collieri said over there, he was concerned about Fine Gael backbenchers. I should say to him across the way, fear not, Deputy. Fine Gael backbenchers are a very resolute group. We're there for the long haul, and we don't scare too easily. But what has happened, and the big difference between our backbenchers and yours when, when, when you were in government is that our ministers and our government listens to our backbenchers. We brought back the concerns of the people, and they were aided by the protests. That is, the peaceful protests that were there. And we were in a position to hammer home our message at parliamentary party meeting, and I'm happy to say that that lesson was listened to. I do, however, have concern. And I think the amazing thing about life is the way the tide turns, if you can wait long enough and have patience long enough. Because the people of Ireland have now seen what they are facing with, with particularly the socialist-led protests that were there, the disgraceful scenes that went on, what they did to people in power, what they did to our, our Garda Shikana, sure. and that turned the tide for people. I come from a town of Templemore where we train every Garda in the country. And the people down there and right across the country that I've met are horrified by what's going on. And I think that it has been an awakening call for them because they are now concerned about elements of socialists, the so-called wealthy socialist party led by the Morphin and, and company, and aided and betted by extremists within our colleagues here from Sinn Féin. And I think that that needs to be nipped in the bud. The people have given that signal to us now, nip that in the bud. If not, we're facing what is potentially a nicer situation in the in Middle East if those people are allowed to get on with, to do what they're doing. God help this country, and people realise that. So we have to nip that in the bud. So that, from that point of view, I think it was a great day for, for, for democracy. There are a lot of, uh, Deputy, just please refer to the proper names of uh, deputies. I beg your pardon, Lasker Hewler? Yeah. If, you, if you would refer to the deputies' names, please, properly. Deputy. Deputy Murphy. Murphy. Deputy Murphy, well. Deputy Paul Murphy. Yeah. Deputy, Deputy Paul Murphy yeah. and others. Yeah. Thank you. And I, 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 I'm glad you're listening to me, Calgary. I think it really is a disgrace what, what they were up to and what they were, what they were trying, to, trying to do. Yeah. I think from, a, from, a, from, from a, you know, to look, to just to take one aspect of it, and primarily this has been focused on water, but this also has to deal with the sewer system in this country. And as we know, there are so many treatment plans that are either not up to standard are, are over capacity, no investment going into them. As a consequence, the environmental damage that has been done in the country, as has been witnessed by 42 of our rivers, and so many schemes that have to be done there, no, 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 no capital funding going into them, even in, in the good times, Deputy Collier, you didn't put enough money into them. You definitely put some, and you didn't put more. But even the ones that where the money was put into them, like our own scheme, and it was the last time the Fine Gael were in government in 94, 95, that they provided a scheme, private funding, capital funding for the Templemore Regional Water Scheme. Okay. During this summer, that scheme needs to be upgraded, needs to be, needs to be improved because of, the, uh, of, of growth and whatever in the area. It almost went dry, water almost had to be rationed. So that's where we need the investment for. Irish Water offers that hope to us, that hope to the people in the area, that hope to the people in Templemore. 
And also, we talk about Dublin and, and the people who are protesting here in Dublin, the, the, the socialists that group, they don't care about the country people. Country people all over, for, all down through the years, had to pay for the water, be it in group schemes, private wells, whatever. And they want to act like, like parasites and live off of the country people. We, they have never acknowledged the role that the people down the country, small business people who operate from their own home, who have to pay for their water, businesses in the country who have had to pay for the water. Thank you, Deputy. The role that they have given uh, in this country in bad times, they have provided the money. Come on with Thank I you. Call Deputy, uh, Joe Carey.